ninth race is the League Two action of the Stickney Series. Here they are, one Charlton Western, owned by South of the Tracks Racing. Brett Ballinger trains and drives. Number two is Legrand Mella, owned by Margaret Bacha. Joe Bacha trains and Ross Leonard drives. Three, Diamond Legacy, owned by Kopiak Racing Stable. Albert C. Kopiak trains, Nick Clegg drives. Number four, Real Monet, owned by M&M Harness Racing, Limited Liability Corporation, Dave McCaffrey trains, Brent Holland drives. Here's number five, Perpetual Icon, owned by We're All in Racing, Homer Huxteller trains, Pat Berry drives. Six, Gridlock, owned by Ray Baldwin and Robert and Linda Sadler, Monique Bernardi trains, Tony Morgan drives. Here's number seven, Looky Air Bluegrass, owned by Gotcha at the Wire, Tom Parisi trains, Art Gregory Jr. to drive. Number eight, Gerlando, owned by Norma Schulfer and Gerald Batiste. Mike Schulfer trains, Daryl Bussey drives. Nine, Dream Location, owned by Alice Roberts, Ronnie Roberts trains, John Roberts drives. Six minutes to wager on tonight's late double at Hawthorne. <laughs> Here they come. They're up and pacing Charlton Western left for the lead. Real Monet left. Perpetual Icon driving up from the outside. Fastest of all to the front. Perpetual Icon now settles on top. Real Monet on the outside, second, Charlton Western, third, driving up on the outside, Gerlando fourth. Towards the inside, Gridlock came away, fifth, Park sixth, and moving up around the turn, Diamond Legacy. In seventh position, that's Legrand Mella, the trailing pair, Lookier Bluegrass, and Dream Location. They're on to the back stretch, and by the quarter, 29 seconds flat, your leader, Perpetual Icon by two in second position, Real Monet on the outside, Gerlando Park third. Towards the inside, Charlton Western, fourth. On the outside, Diamond Legacy Park, fifth. Towards the inside, Gridlock, no place to go, sixth. Legrand Mella to the outside, seventh. Racing in eighth is Lookier Bluegrass. Trailing the field, Dream Location. And moving three wide as they drive by the half, Diamond Legacy. 58-2 and two for the half, and they move around the turn. It's Perpetual Icon leading a length and a half. Towards the inside, Real Monet, second. Three wide, Diamond Legacy up to be third. Three wide with cover on the turn as Legrand Mella fourth. Then towards the inside, Charlton Western fifth. In between horses, Gerlando's had a most difficult time. Gridlock, no place to go. The trailing pair, a three wide dream location and look here, Bluegrass. They come off the turn, three quarters and 127 and two. In the stretch, Perpetual Icon leads a length and a half. Real Monet drafting in second by five. Diamond Legacy third, Gridlock moving sharply between horses fourth, Legrand Mella fifth, final eighth, it's Perpetual Icon with the lead, Real Monet's coming on, Gridlock's charging up on the outside, it's Perpetual Icon, Gridlock's coming on for the lead, Gridlock rolls through the stretch to prevail, Gridlock one and a length and a half at the wire, Perpetual Icon second, Real Monet third, tight for fourth between Diamond Legacy and Legrand Mella. Going into the winner's circle with his fifth winner tonight, here's driver Tony Morgan. He brings home Gridlock. Gridlock owned by Ray Baldwin, Robert and Linda Sadler, Monique Bernardi, the winning trainer. Tony Morgan gets his fifth winner of the night. There is an inquiry. Please hold all tickets. The inquiry sign is posted. This is a steward's inquiry concerning the unofficial winner six gridlock for possible violation of the breaking rule around the last turn. Please hold all tickets. The result will stand. Stewards have determined that gridlock complied with all the breaking rules. The result will stand.
The ninth race is official. Return prices and rundown in a moment. 